Hey YouTube, back to basic scale here. Today I'm going to discuss with you the how to make apple cider vinegar. Uh, you'll notice the label here just says it's apple cider vinegar, the natural choice. Well, there, in my opinion, there's not much natural about pasteurizing and filtering out all the health benefits from a product. From the research I've read, store owners had complained that apple cider vinegar did not look good on the shelves because of the naturally occurring sediment and the cloudiness. Anyway, so the manufacturers started filtering and pasturing, pasteurizing uh, apple cider vinegar, which resulted in the healthy enzymes and all the benefits being removed from the product. Here, you'll see that on the label it says unpasteurized, raw, unfiltered, uh, apple cider vinegar and it says with the mother that's very important uh, by making sure that it says with the mother you'll know that you're getting all the health benefits like the high potassium all the good enzymes um, of that's offered by apple cider vinegar anyway this stuff runs five to six dollars a quart in health food stores and high-end grocery stores uh, that's the only place you'll be able to find it otherwise you're going to get the natural filtered and pasteurized stuff for a couple bucks anyway um, I make my own apple cider vinegar with the mother unpasteurized um, unfiltered and raw for uh, just pennies pennies for a quart I'm going to show you how to make how to make that um, it's real simple <clears throat> easy to do um, just takes a little bit of your time and a sterilized a jar you can sterilize a little bit of sugar some filtered water here's a uh, an example after I got done making uh, making the apple cider vinegar on the left that's apple cider vinegar on the right I make wine vinegar as well I just save all my unused uh, wine whether it be red or white um, I keep them separated I make different vinegars out of um, out of those products as well but today we're going to be just talking about the apple cider vinegar anyway that's the final product when you buy apples I always buy organic apples but what I've noticed is that even though if even if they say organic you're gonna find that the producers will wax them makes the apples look a lot better the only place I've been able to get apples without the wax is going right to the apple orchard in the fall <clears throat> excuse me so when you purchase apples, you're going to you're going to uh, need to remove that wax. How I do um, how I wash my apples, especially the ones that have wax on them, is I put them in warm water. I take a nice um, soft washcloth and I rub it until the wax is off. And you can tell once you remove the wax with your fingers. Anyway, so make sure you remove all the wax on the uh, the apples because we will be using the peels and the cores um, I don't throw anything away from from the apple when I make apple cider vinegar first thing you'll want to do after you wash them is take them Mason. put them on a cutting board and peel the apple then I slice slice the apple I take the fruit and put that aside I usually end up making a tart or a an apple pie maybe some raw apple cake uh, something out of the fruit because we're just like I said we're just going to be using the core and the apple peels this out of all those apples and I believe in that batch I had 10 or 12 apples that I peeled and cored uh, you can see the fruit up there on the top right hand side in the stainless steel bowl there um, I'm going to be making a pie with the um, with the fruit, but this is about how much on uh, how much of the skin and the uh, cores that I had. Like I said, I don't throw anything away. Next thing you do is put it in. This is a pickle jar. I put all the scraps in a pickle jar, and for every quart of water I use, you have to use a quart or a quarter cup of sugar. I pour that into the filtered water and stir it up to make sure the sugar is dissolved. Then I pour each quart over the apples until they're totally submerged. 
here you'll see I have to keep a plate or a lid. I use a lid on top of the apples. You don't want air to get to the apples. Um, I keep a, uh, a smaller lid inside my pickle jar. I use it for fermenting. Um, <clears throat> that'll keep the apple cores and peels submerged underneath the underneath the uh, water line. It will begin to ferment, so you will see it, it'll start to bubble. Once you get, get the plate on there, you're going to leave the plate on there and cover the jar with cheesecloth. And I use a thick rubber band. I put it in a dark cabinet for six to eight weeks, and you'll be able to smell it. The reason you want to keep the cheesecloth on there is because you will um, have bugs trying to get in there if you don't. And of course, after, uh, after the six to eight weeks, you just bottle it up, put a cork on it, and you've got yourself apple cider vinegar. And of course, out of the fruit, you make yourself a nice treat, which I chose to make an apple pie. Visit my Back to Basic Scale blog. I'll put a link to it. It has all step-by-step -step directions there. If I went too quickly, um, 